Then why am I getting spots near my temples? Please. Guys, I was so confused. Let me just like, obviously start using the higher strength one. Like, duh. Because I'm ready to run into the lab because I have a black man blood in me. And guys. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenny. In today's video, I'm gonna cut straight to the chase and talk to you about how I completely ruined my skin. And I will be in certain pictures so you can see the damage <laughs> that I really did, guys. I got way too excited, so my skin went from good and I took it right back to bad. I'm just gonna tell you guys how I managed to do that, how you can avoid doing the same to your skin, and how I've been able to fix my skin, because you know, my skin's in a much better place, we thank the Lord. So the number one thing that I did to really, really destroy my skin was, hands down, over exfoliation over exfoliating my skin guys when you're new to the world of like acids like glycolic acid salicylic acid you know all these are wonderful acids that really can be beneficial for your skin when you're new to it and you like find out how good they can be like i remember the first time i tried um like mandelic acid right and i saw how good my skin was looking in a very short period of time i was like yo <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna have to like top up on this. I'm gonna have to go and grab some glycolic acid. Let's go grab some, even acids that I never heard about. I just wanted everything. Let's just say I got greedy with the exfoliation and I overdid it. And I would literally like, I would exfoliate like twice a day. Like I'm talking about chemical exfoliation. I didn't really know what my skin needed. Thinking that the more I exfoliate, like the better my skin gets because I'm getting rid of dead skin. Uh, no, it is. Like, sis, it. it doesn't work like that. <laughs> like in terms of exfoliation, what you really should be doing is exfoliating ever so often. You don't want to exfoliate every single day. And basically what had happened was I ruined my skin barrier. And it's scientifically known as the stratum corneum. Your stratum corneum is the layer of dead skin that basically helps to protect your skin. So it's dead, but it's biologically active. It helps to keep the bad guys out and the good guys in. So it helps to keep your moisture in, your hydration in, but it helps to keep bad things out of your skin, right? So when you break that barrier, when you ruin it, anything can come in there's no protection for your skin anything can come in it does vary with um you know different skin different people but just get to know your skin and know how much exfoliation your skin can tolerate like with exfoliation it's really easy to think the more you do it the better but guys it's really not the case so right now i only exfoliate around four to five times a week so my advice would be just really observe your skin and just see how your skin's reacting to the exfoliators that you are using so if your skin is starting to sting or feeling a bit red feeling a bit sore but then I would definitely say back off the exfoliator because you really are on the way to destroying your skin barrier less is more you don't want to underdo it but you also don't want to overdo it so definitely watch it with the exfoliation guys take it from me I've been there done that I've made the mistakes and I really don't want you guys to make the same mistakes so what else did I do to ruin my skin? Guys, I was mixing and matching ingredients that should never even be mixed in the first place. Again, when you have skin that tends to be problematic, like acne prone skin or skin that's prone to like dehydration, you just want a solution to your problem, right? And I'm speaking for myself, I don't know about you guys. You guys might be really good and you guys might be really like a discipline. But when I first started out with skincare, I didn't really do any research in terms of like what to mix, what not to mix and especially when you have darker skin guys you want to be really really careful about mixing and matching because any little reaction any spot any acne any pimples can scar really easily and leave a dark mark and then we're back to have pigmentation acne scars and then you have to start trying to clear those all over again so i definitely would advise to make sure that you know what kind of ingredients are mixing on your skin guys please excuse the noise outside of my window it's a really hot day so my window it has to be open please forgive me so for example your salicylic acid and your glycolic acid or your mandelic acid you shouldn't really be mixing them i think the safe way to go about it is to try and minimize how many active ingredients you're using in one skincare routine so try and spread out your actives throughout the week if you guys want me to make a separate video about what to mix and what not to mix when it comes to skincare yeah please let me know in the comments and drop a like on this video and i'll be sure to um, get that film for you guys so how else did i manage to ruin my skin I was too impatient, guys. If you have issues with your skin that you're trying to sort out, like, trust me, I really understand the desire to want, like, results really, really quickly. Like, I'm the same. Like, I'm quite impatient, and I 
you know, it's really bad. Like, listen, I'm, I have a wedding to go to next week. Please, like, listen, I want results, like, by next week. <laughs> like, you know when you give the products, like, deadline, like, listen, if it doesn't work in two days, I'm chucking it. And that was me, to be fair. I'll use the product for, like, two days. Okay, okay, maybe, like, a week, if I'm being generous. And if I haven't seen any, like, drastic changes, I'm like, okay, this doesn't work onto the next like when that is such a bad attitude to have when it comes to skincare because like these are chemicals that you're putting on your face you need to give these chemicals enough time to actually have a chemical reaction with our skin to work you know there are some products that do work really quickly it's like the Paula's Choice 2% BHA I used that product and literally the next morning I could see the difference that it made like my skin was more glowy physically like, the blackheads that I had literally were like shrunk like, but you can't expect that result with every single product some products do take a while to work so you definitely have to be patient because <laughs> if you're not patient you just end up battling with your skin <laughs> beating up your skin yeah that's definitely something else to watch out for and finally guys the thing that i did that really meant up my skin was getting overly confident and overly cocky thinking yes i've arrived because i successfully treated my acne and my hyperpigmentation i was like yo kenny you are listen you are that girl you need to step it up let's see what else you can do to get rid of this hyperpigmentation even quicker i mean what you're using is working so let's step it up a notch do you get what i mean so let's step it up a notch so what did i do i went and i ordered prescription strength skincare without a dermatologist thinking yeah yeah I'm, I'm that skincare girl like i know what i'm doing <laughs> and the product that i'm talking about is tretinoin right it's a form of vitamin a right and i ordered it and i used it on my skin without any supervision and i started using it and i was seeing results like in the first week my skin was looking a bit more glowy it was turning over i was thinking okay okay what did i do instead of sticking with it yeah i thought to myself this low strength one is just taking forever to work so let me just like obviously start using the higher strength one like duh because i'm ready to run into the lab because i have a black man blood in me and guys <laughs> that was probably the worst thing i could have done guys when i tell you hmm i started getting spots in places that i didn't even know that i could get spots in I started getting spots like around here, like around here. I was like, wait, but I never get spots here. Every time I get spots, I get spots on my cheeks. So why am I getting spots near my temples, please? Guys, I was so confused. But at the same time, I knew that I'd been cheeky and I overdid it. Listen, it took me so long, so long to recover from that. So when that happened, I really had to just hold everything and this is where I started to work on repairing my skin. So for me to get to this point, I've learned so much along the way. And now I'm going to go through what I had to do in those instances to get my skin back on track. My skin clearly needed a break. So I literally had to cut out every single bit of active ingredient in my skincare. So I had to go back to the basic and really just give my skin a breather. So what I did in the last instance where I did ruin my skin, so I had to stop everything for a week. I was only moisturizing with my CeraVe Firming Cleanser and it contains ceramide. So ceramide are basically the building blocks for your skin and they help to really build your skin again because what you've done, you've destroyed it, you've broken it down and you need to rebuild it. So this is a really good um, cleanser for oily skin. If you have dry skin, there is the hydrating cleanser as well, same brand. It looks like this, but it's a hydrating version rather than the foaming version. So that was the cleanser that I was using and I would use that and then I will just moisturize with a very, very gentle, occlusive moisturizer. And I mentioned the one that I used in my previous video and it's the double base gel so this is a um it's a highly moisturizing and protective hydrating gel for regular and frequent use in the management of chapped skin conditions which may be itchy or inflamed so this gel essentially helps me to just keep my skin protected and hydrated and that's all i needed from a skincare routine at that point so i have that skincare routine for about two weeks and to be fair it did feel very uncomfortable not having any active i felt like oh my god is my skin gonna go even worse i didn't trust my skin one thing we need to really learn to do is trust our skin but you know god made it to really function by itself we need to trust it a little bit more and not 
not rely so much on products to do its job for it. So yeah, what happened in those two weeks is my skin fixed itself and it wasn't irritated, it kind of went back to normal, the spots disappeared over time and I started to very, very slowly reintroduce actives. I just introduced like my basal peroxide for the acne. When that started working, I introduced it back in one exfoliant. And really, that's kind of like the basics of my skincare routine at the moment. I might do a bit more here and there when necessary, but I really try and keep my routine quite basic. Yeah, like I only really go for what I need. I try not to overdo it with the skincare because with skincare, I think the less is actually more. The less skincare you can get away with without like breaking out or you know having issues with what you should stick with. Like don't try and do too much, especially with the exfoliation. But yeah, guys, I really hope. Hmm, feeling myself today. I'm actually about to go out for lunch, so that should be cute. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you found it useful. Yeah, let me know if you guys have done anything that really compromised your skin barrier. Like, I think it's always funny to look back at it. But like, when you're going through it, it's not funny at all. But I think once you've come through it, you can look back and be like, I was actually doing too much. Like, I was doing a lot. <laughs> But no, thank you so much guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And also if there's anything you'd like to see from me guys, do let me know in the comment section. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Bye guys.